As we evolve as photographers, we go through different phases. In this video, I'm going to tell you five different phases that you might be in. The first phase is when we're starting out. There is the excitement. We have a new camera. Everything is new. We're really excited. We photograph everything. We photograph the cliches. We, you know, don't care what others say. We're so excited. And I think that phase is one of the most exciting phases. Of course, we all been there and you know, photographing everything, we do the sunsets and all that. That's that's totally fine. It's it's one part of getting to be a better photographer right there in the start. And like I said, the first phase is really fun because we have all new things in head of us. All that excitement that I remember that. That was exciting getting a new camera and starting to, you know, photograph. Do you remember how excited were you when you started out? Then unfortunately the excitement and enthusiastic feeling that we have starts to fade away. We start learning more. And the problem here is that we start to care too much about the likes on social media. And we might get into that rabbit hole that we start making images that others expect us to do because then we can get some likes. And at first, of course, the likes are nice. And that's why we kind of fall into that rabbit hole. Because, of course, we want to get credits and we want to get, uh, you know, good reviews of, or feedback on our photographs. But if that's the motivation, it's not going to be healthy in the long run. So try to try to avoid that. And if you are getting into that deep rabbit hole of getting likes, then just to, you know, think again. Hi, it's Peter here. And if you have liked the content so far, please hit the like button. It means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and hitting that notification bell. So you get a notification when I post new videos online. I usually post two videos a week and some weeks even three videos. But let's continue with another rabbit hole that you might fall into when you're in phase two. And that is gas, gear acquisition syndrome. You start reading forums, looking at YouTube videos and, and learning about photography. Nothing wrong with that. You know, there are great places to learn. But there is also the danger of getting into gas so that you, you think that getting better, you need new gear, you need this and that, and you start concentrating more on the gear than you're concentrating on the image itself. And that's that's another bad rabbit hole. It's a bit different from the social media likes, but it's, it's the phase two when you start caring what others think about your photography. And nothing wrong with that, but it is when you're getting into that deep rabbit hole, it's it's going to be the motivation and motivation is getting new gear. And, you know, nothing wrong with uh, ha having cameras as a hobby. I collect old Olympus cameras, not not a big collector, but, you know, when I find something interesting and that's a totally different thing than photography and nothing wrong with, you know, being interested in gear. We all are in, in some parts, of course, because it's part of photography is the gear. We need gear to make those images. So nothing wrong with that. But don't get in too deep into that because that will take you totally to a wrong path on if you, if you want to be a better photographer. So be aware of the rabbit hole of gas, like you have to be with the social media likes. And then there is the phase three, when we are the ones that are telling what to get and how to photograph to the face or the, those who are on the phase two. And that can be also very dangerous when we start to be know it all. That's that's a normal uh, kind of progress that we, at, cer at certain point when we have learned a bit, then we think we know everything. And that's another rabbit hole. And if you start staying there, you won't be getting any better. Of course, giving feedback to others is an important thing for you because you learn there when you're giving feedback, but also giving feedback to others is an important thing. But it cannot be the main thing or the attitude cannot be that I know everything. That's That's also bad because Right there, when you think you know everything, the progress of getting better will stop and you will get stuck. And most likely you will fall back to phase two and start, you know, it's kind of like a loophole that you go between two and three all the time and you're, you're stuck there and your photo photography is going nowhere. And if you can get past phase three, then we're starting getting better when we go into phase four, when we actually realize that we don't know anything about photography and then the progress really starts kicking in. What's good thing about this is that the excitement usually starts to come back. What phase are you on? Have, have you recognized these phases? And I'm saying that it's nothing wrong to be any of these phases. That's that's human. We all been there. I've been there. So nothing wrong with that. The pro, the only thing is that try to get past 
all these first three phases. And if you reach the phase four, you're on the right path. And when we really start getting past that what others think state of mind, we are getting and approaching phase five where we can photograph whatever we want. We know enough so that the images are good and we don't really care what others say. We're doing our own photography for our own joy, joy, enjoyment. Is that, well, to our own enjoyment. The funny thing is that then we really are getting more excited about photography and we kind of take the best part of phase one with us and that's when we are starting to get really better and enjoying photography because it doesn't mean that getting better always that you will be a better photographer so that your images are better but you start to enjoy photography more which means that the good images will follow because you're feeling good and you you kind of uh, you don't overthink and you don't think that you know too much you you, you are open to learn new things and, and then i think you've progressed as a photographer and, and you know I think that's the kind of like the last phase which I hope most of you are aiming for and some of you might even be there. How do you do you feel that you are on a phase one and it doesn't mean that you have to be a great great photographer and all your images has to be great but you are on a phase that where you don't really care what others say and you photograph for yourself and we have to remember that this is for amateurs and hobbyists who like to do photography for their own enjoyment and it's a hobby and free time and you know that's all professionals are a bit different they they kind of need to be aware what others think because they need to sell the images and if nobody likes your photography as a professional you're not going to be very successful in that profession so that's it's, we have to remember that's a different and like i said the key on this progress is that you need to stop caring what others think about your photography in a way that it cannot be the driving force for your photography to photograph like everybody else does or photograph what others expect you to photograph and i think that's the main thing that you might want to take from this video and i hope this helps with that and here are some more videos about creativity if, if you are stuck or or want to come from another face to another face but hey thanks for watching and bye for now